The question 13 is to find whether two relations are inverses by using composition. Now here you have been given two functions f of x and g of x. They both are inverse of each other when you compose f of g of x and you get equal to x. That will be inverse of each other. So this is both x only, right? So we must get x. Let us look into this. It's very, very simple. All you do is compose them f of g of x and solve it. What is g of x given as? 1 minus x. So what is the function f of x? x minus 1. But instead of x, I have to put whatever is this. So this goes in place of this. That's the only thing. Here it will be 1 minus x minus 1. See, x will be 1 minus x minus 1. Now solve it up. It will be 1 minus x minus 1. 1, 1 cancels. But this is negative x. So they are not inverse. This is not inverse of each other. You can see that they are not inverse. Okay. The inverse is also called as identity function. Now over here, let's try f of g of x. That is over here. And now we will write f of what? g of x is half of x minus 3. Let's try solving this. Wherever x is, they put this. This goes over here. It will be 2 times half into x minus 3 plus 3. Now this, when you multiply it, this goes off. You will have x minus 3 plus 3. This cancels off x. Yes, they are inverses of each other. You can see over here. They'll be inverse. Yes, that's the answer. Now, what, what can you see over here, the relation? Now, if you look carefully, here 2 has been multiplied with x. Here half has been multiplied with x. But here this is plus 3, minus 3. So if you look carefully, it is, see, whatever you see, it's inverse of each other. 2, 1 by 2, x, x, plus, minus, 3, 3. It's kind of like that. You can't take it literally, though, because over here the brackets and all, it might get confusing. But in general sense, they, you can see, yes, they are really the inverse. Over here also you might find, yes, it's minus x. No, the inverse would have been just x plus 1. Now, if I just have to prove it, I'll just show you. If I had f of x plus 1. Now, over here, I'll just put over here x plus 1 minus 1. This cancels x. Yes, that is inverse. Looking at it, you can even tell that is inverse, but it's better to do the composition function to be 100% sure because it's plus or minus is simple, but this is not. Now, even you can prove it like this, g of f of x. I'll show you now. What happens over here is g of instead of f of x, I'll write 2x plus 3. Now, here in this function, wherever x is there, you ought to put this. So it's half 2x plus 3. Here, half minus 3. Only instead of x, I have put 2x plus 3. Now, let us solve this up. Here, first, the brackets solve it up. It will be 2x plus 3 minus 3 will cancel. You will just have 2x and half cancels. What is the answer? x. You do not need to do it both the times. If you just get 1x, that's enough. You know, that's the thing. Now, here, this is inverse because the brackets are removed. It'll be 5 divided by 5. Yeah, that, that, that'll be inverse, you know. Now, you might be thinking why this is not there, but the brackets are removed. That, that's why when you multiply the 5, it'll be, uh, you know, balanced. So, you can see if you do the composition, you can easily get it. So, just don't directly jump to it, but it's better we do it, you know. Both the sides, it will be inverse, and that's the answer. Even this is absolutely inverse. Looking over here, 2 multiplied. Now, half is multiplied. They both are inverse. Now, here, these two functions... Uh, do not seem to be inverse because over here it doesn't match properly. But still, let's see. Because if it was 6 or something, you know, it should have been 12 over here. Then it would have been inverse. Let's solve this. So, h of g of x. And we have h of 1 sixth x plus 3. And now substitute over here. Instead of x, you put 1 sixth x plus 3 over here. Minus 2. And now multiply this x, a 6 inside. It will be... 6 by 6 will be x plus 3 minus 2. You will be getting x plus 1. So this is not the inverse. You're not getting x, isn't it? Oh, I'm so sorry. It's not x plus 1. Over here, you have to multiply the 6 both the sides. It's going to be 18. But still, the answer is no. It will be 16 over here. x plus 16, not inverse. So you can see it is x plus 16, not 16. That is the answer.
it's not in versus. You don't need to do it again. Try checking and all only once. And since it's MCQ, just do it once. It's enough. Now, what about this over here? Just try solving this. If you get X, it is inverse. Otherwise, no, they're not inverses of each other. Now we have a formula problem. The formula for the volume of a right circular cone with a height of two feet is given over here. That's the volume formula. Determine whether R, the radius, is the inverse of the original function. So now imagine V, right? V of R we have to take. In the sense, you can write it as V of any other variable. So now this is the thing. Let us solve it. Whatever is this, put it in this R and solve. It will be 2 by third pi instead of r I have square root t 3v 2 pi square. The square and square root cancels. You are remaining with 2 by 3 pi and over here it is 3v by 2 pi. So 2 and pi cancels over here. 3 cancels. What are you getting? We started with v. Yes, it is just v. This is inverse. Okay, now we will, this was the composition v of r. Sorry. Now you can do the other way around. Over here, when you do, you must get r only. That variable, the same variable we must get. We can check it out. Now here, square root 3. But instead of b, what do I do? I'll put this out. So 2 thirds pi r square divided by 2 pi. Now let's simplify this. It'll be, see this is cancelled and this will be cancelled. This one is also cancelled. You're remaining with r square only. It's r. Yes, absolutely, they both are inverses of each other. You can see here, this is how we get it. So first we find V composition. This is not V, the, yeah, the formula was V, but we are finding V composition of R first and then R composition of V. We are both getting, you know, single variable. So yes, that is the inverses of each other. And over here, another similar one. The formula for the area of a trapezoid A is given over here. Determine whether the height is inverse. So what do you do? Same thing, compose A composition of H and then H composition of A to just double check it. In this case, whatever H is there, I will just substitute it over here. So it is 2A minus A plus B divided by 2 into A plus B. So instead of H, what did I do? I substituted this. Now then let me split this out. Here it will be 2A by 2. And this is going to be minus a plus b divided by 2. And over here we have a plus b. It's better to put the brackets. See, this was separate. h by 2 was separate and this is separate. Okay, now we understand better. Over here, 2, 2 cancels. You're having... Now, let's multiply this as well. You will have a into a plus b minus... This will be what? a plus b and a plus b the whole square. a plus b the whole square by 2. Okay, now it's just getting more and more complicated. Uh, let us just check the answer over here. Okay, they're not going to simplify it. We'll just leave it like this and try to do the other side. If it matches, then okay. So what we will do over here is, because it'll just take a long time to simplify all this. You have to use A plus B, the old square formula. Then, you know, multiply this A, try to simplify all that. Now here, instead of H composition of A, instead of A, you put this value. So it's going to be 2 times, instead of A, put H by 2 A plus B minus A plus B. This is it. Now multiply this 2 inside, this cancels off. You are remaining with H times A plus B minus A plus B. Now, I no, this is not basically, you can remove this H, uh, A plus B outside and you can get a plus B outside will be H minus 1, but still this is not the inverse of each other. Okay, so here they, they got the same thing, but I just removed a common term, but this is enough, the simplification, and you can tell they're not basically the inverse, we're not getting the same answer. Whereas in the previous problem, the volume and radius, it properly we got it. You know, over here if you had simplified and got A, and over here if you simplified and got H, then yes, absolutely, they both are inverse. And that's the end of this question 13. It is another simple problem. Just remember the composition of functions. Uh, remember substitution properly, which is composed of which. And then you can easily solve these problems.